let's, I guess, listen a little bit to this. Patriots and a lot more help is on the way. But I grew up in a small town called Ripon, Wisconsin. Do you guys know Ripon? Ripon. Ripon is famous for being the birthplace of the Republican Party. Hmm. But I'm sorry, I have to make an announcement. It's the birthplace of the old Republican Party. The new Republican Party was born in June of 2015 at Trump Tower in New York City. Wow. And we must not go back to the days of old, feckless, cowardly Republicans like Paul Ryan. Anybody know who this is? Robin Voss. And George Bush and Dan Crenshaw vote the rhinos the hell out of office. This the Republican Civil War is good for the left. The first fighters will fight for you each and every day because President Trump taught them how to fight and how to win. And we're not going back. Okay. And so without further ado, I want to introduce to you one of the future leaders of the Republican Party. Oh, no. My friend, America First Patriot, and candidate for Congress in Ohio's 9th Congressional District, J.R. Majewski. Oh, I've interviewed this guy. He is completely ignorant about almost everything. Well, get out to vote for Tim Michaels for governor, Adam Steen for District 63. Yeah, uh, I, I interviewed J.R. Majewski. Look at this guy. Um, we'll we'll deal with that in a moment. I want to say thanks to S. Prez for gifting 10 more subscriptions on Twitch, as well as Prospect Leveler, which puts us at 152. Guys, let's go for 200 as we listen to J.R. Majewski. Oh, my buddies, the Front Row Joes. Love the Front Row Joes. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I want to give a special thank you to Team Trump and President Trump for all of their hard work inspiring us to wake up every day and fight for this country. Mm. Thank you, Team Trump. And I know President Trump's going to hear us when he gets here. Thank you to all of you for keeping... When he gets here, he's already half an hour late. My name is J.R. Majewski, and my pronouns are patriot and ass kicker. If you don't know me, I'm the guy from Ohio that decided to turn his beautiful lakefront property into the world's largest Trump 2020 banner. During I know that his shirt says Majewski, but all that's visible is the word Jews. It's not exactly what I would be going for. And you would think someone would be like, Jr. it looks like your shirt says Jews. And usually when people wear shirts that say Jews, they're not saying something good about the Jews. You know, I mean, it's like, how did a campaign advisor not warn him about that? Duty, ladies and gentlemen, like the great folks in Wisconsin, Governor Michaels, who's going to take this state back. I'm also proud to say that I grew up in the worst neighborhood in my district. Blue collar family, Democratic family. Hmm. And it wasn't until President Trump came down that escalator that my dad called me and said, this dude's going to kick some ass, son. Yep. When he said the thing about Mexican rapists, I just knew he had upper management written all over him. I had my Trump shirt printed the next day. Spent my career in the nuclear power industry and um, worked very, very hard. Started at the bottom and worked my way all up to the top. And... Uh, I've dealt with some of the most dangerous material known to men, which is spent nuclear fuel. And uh, starting in January. Oh, I thought he meant Trump's toilet. I think that's some of the most dangerous uh, material on, on Earth. A crazy idea, says Nexter, but maybe the ThinkPad was slated to be sold in Russia and diverted due to sanctions. That's interesting. Andrew says, congrats on the baby. Love your show, brother. Wish I could offer more. Andrew, thank you for your support. I really appreciate that. I know many of you are noticing this gentleman right here. Uh, this gentleman is at, at most Trump rallies. I know there are questions about who he is and what the deal is. And is he part of blacks for Trump or whatever? He was indeed at the Anchorage, Alaska rally. I don't really know who he is, but he's at every he's at just about every rally. Um, and I don't I don't really know too much else, quite frankly. 
folks, I can't thank enough all of the people signing up on my website. Look at these names. Kimberly Locke is a new member. Dan Rapson just signed up. Kalen Gottman is a new member. Becca King has signed up. Mark Ballard and Chris Wright are new members. Janice Johnson is a new member. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven folks, which we love. That puts us at 159, if my math serves. And then thanks to Samantha Orman, uh, Kevin John, Johnny Minogue, another gifted membership from Kevin John, and Mart Fillion. That's five pushes us to 164 as J.R. Majewski just will not stop speaking. And getting people out of the way, and we're going to have a Congress that's going to do something. And imagine how much is going to get done by President Trump when he has people that are loyal to him. That's right. I'm a fire starter, folks. If you haven't heard about me, check me out. J.R. Majewski, the number four Congress dot com. I'll leave you with all of this. Please. As a veteran, I used to wake up every day willing to risk my life for what I thought this country stood for. And I've been fighting every day during this election cycle. And I've woken up every day wondering how much I'm going to have to risk and whether or not it's going to be my life to save my family, what? my friends, and our country from what it's become. Anyone know why we, he, he would have to risk his life to save his family? What's he talking about? I don't know what he's saying. You have to be built from steel. You have to be built from steel. A little chubby to do it. But you got to love this country, and we do. We need your support, every one of you out there. The Trump train, train is running hot. If you got big shoulders like me, grab a shovel because it needs a lot of coal. Hmm. Number of them metaphors, though. My primary election was tough. I mentioned my father a minute ago. I'll tell you that my father passed away right before my primary election. And um, I won't get emotional up here because uh, Alex just said that politicians don't cry on TV. Um, but my father loved President Trump. My mother loves President Trump. I love President Trump. You love President Trump and the country loves him. I love all of you in return. God bless you. God bless Wisconsin. And God bless the United States of America. And to my wife at home, I love you dearly, sweetheart. And God bless the United States. Yeah. So anyway, check out my interview with him. He really struggled with very simple questions. Very, very simple questions. And he was struggling to answer them.